Drop a like on this video within the next five seconds or have extremely bad luck for the rest of your life. I wouldn't risk it. Hit up my boy Gamer the Plug on Twitter or Instagram to buy stacked NBA 2K20 accounts. Links are in the description. Tell him that Badge Plug sent you for a discount. What is up, guys? It's your boy Badge Plug, and today we have an extremely interesting video. So make sure to strap in, get yourself some popcorn or something, and watch the entire video because it's about to get lit. So today, We've got some insanely interesting news, some things that maybe 2K did not want us to know, right? But we're going to start off with a tweet from Statistics on his Twitter. He said, y'all ever thought about this? 2K patch prelude dribbling, momentum behind the back and spin, pro three step back, my career hotspots, explosive behind the back. Now, how many of those did we ask for? Now, you might have not wanted the explosive behind the back or something. You might not be a dribbler, but... I can for sure know that you did not want the My Career Hotspots to go away. So if any of those things you've seen right there that 2K took away and you did not ask for, drop a like on this video, man, because I know that all of us, no one asked for 2K to fix the hotspots. Remember, guys, now you have to get hotspots from the park. You used to be able to get your hotspots from just playing in My Career because now you have to try every single game. You can never mess around. You can never, you know... You can't mess around at all because your percentages are going to go down and you might lose a hot spot. You might get a cold spot, etc. And no one asked for that. And they still have not changed it back. But it's all good, man. It's been like that for like the last two or three years. And 2K, for some reason, just decided to do it this year and actually make it like park hot spots. But anyway, if you guys remember from the last video, we got some leaked news about NBA 2K21, which Ronnie and LD said is not true. Phantoms on his Twitter said, if this news about 2K21 is true, then I'm afraid 2K will be officially gone. And then he said, please don't be true. And you know what? Guess who responded to that tweet? LD2K. He said, you're a baiter, a master of it indeed. So you're a master of the bait so once again ld2k is doubling down on the news we've seen in the last video from the snapchat quote unquote snapchat leak he's saying that it's not true but like i said guys at any time you know that 2k can flip the switch just like they did for ronnie 2k and make ld2k lie because he's under this contract you know he has to do what they tell him to do so it's a little bit fishy when that snapchat leak came out because we all know that the leak from last year, the big leak that everyone was posting about and had to delete because it was actually real because 2K was copy stri copyright striking people or whatever, um, that came from Snapchat. You know what I'm saying? That came from a developer or tester or something on Snapchat. So this news that we got, if you guys haven't seen the last video, man, make sure you go check it out or you probably don't even know what I'm talking about. But this news came out on Snapchat once again. It was doing pretty good on Twitter, maybe 100, 200 likes or something like that. And then Ronnie2k replied to it and was like, oh, that's Cap. And then that's pretty much what LD2k said. But it's weird that they just, you know, spoke on that. Like, they didn't have to speak on that. It feels like to me that someone told them, hey, you guys got to respond to this and, you know, clear that because people are starting to think it's true. I mean, it might actually be true. You know what I'm saying? So I don't know. I really don't know. But LD2k, man, he followed me a few weeks ago. He's a cool guy. We love him. But you never know. LD2k might be being told by 2k to wrap stuff up he might lie this year and i don't think that ld2k is going to or has with the previous things he's been saying about that news not being true because i don't really know if that news is true or not but like i'm saying ld2k we don't trust ronnie anymore you know none of the community trusts ronnie so now it's ld2k's job to maybe lie to us about something in 2k21 to increase 2k sales because he works there and he has to do that for the company so you never know at any time 2K can flip the switch and make LD2K one of the most hated people in the 2K community, but I don't know. I don't know how it's going to go down, but we'll see in just a second what's going on. So something crazy happened on Twitter. In the last video, we talked about this tweet where fandom said neighborhoods are coming back to NBA 2K21, blah, blah, blah. And this dude quoted that and said, or we could have a neighborhood that we shop in and buy stuff, clothes, Gatorade, spin the wheel, etc. And then we have three portals that takes us to Sunset, Rivet, and Old Town. And then guess who liked it? Chris Manning, LD2K. Now, what is so crazy about this tweet, why I'm even making this video, this is really the only reason. If I didn't have this, I wouldn't make the video, but he unliked it, y'all. He literally unliked it. So it seems like he was trying to give us some sort of hint about 2K21, and then someone was like, hey, look, LD, you can't have that up, all right? Because if you go through LD's likes, well, first of all, you're not gonna see that tweet because he unliked it, and second, 
he doesn't like a lot of things about park he doesn't like ideas about people saying oh you should have this you know three neighborhoods three affiliations whatever he ha he doesn't like stuff like that y'all his twitter is basically like a personal twitter for basketball and stuff because he's a big basketball fan he does not like stuff like that and then he just randomly likes that tweet and then on top of it unlikes the tweet so I don't know, y'all. I'm not trying to say anything, okay? Because we all know that Ronnie2k lied to us last year. Ronnie2k lying about it not being the same park, respecking, you know, new pie charts, stuff like that, obviously made 2k millions upon millions of dollars. Because think about how many people would have canceled their pre-order if they knew it was the same exact park as the year before. If they didn't know that the respecking was in the game. If they didn't know that there was going to be new pie charts like Ronnie2k said. Blah, blah, blah. Stuff like that. Obviously made them millions of dollars. It was a great business move for 2k. Not really morally wise, but you know, they did it. So what I'm trying to say is LD2k, you know, like I said, he could throw on that switch from 2k. They could make him lie. They could, you know, do that to get more sales. But I'm not going to hold my breath or anything. But LD2k liking that tweet gives me a lot of hope. I don't know if it gives you guys a lot of hope, but I'm just saying from my, you know, opinion, him liking that tweet and especially him unliking the tweet, it really seems like he was trying to tell some of us, hey, you know, we're looking at it. We're trying to do it. You know, and then he had to unlike the tweet because someone was like, look, you can't do that. We can tell from your Twitter and how you run it that you don't like stuff like that. So liking that is kind of telling people what's going on and what we're doing with 2K21. Now, we all know 2K21 is going to be next gen, right? I would be very surprised if 2K didn't do something crazy. Like if, if they didn't bring back three parks, right? Three affiliations, something like that. Or maybe, I don't know, a huge, huge neighborhood like three four times the size of the one we got now i don't know but it's next gen guys if you haven't looked at the specs for the next gen systems they're insane they're basically computers right so they're getting like i don't even know two to three times i don't really i'm not really like a computer specs person but it looks like i don't know it looks like the systems are like two to three times better than the xbox one and the ps4 now these systems the xbox one i don't know about the ps4 but supposedly the xbox one can run multiple games at one time so if you can run multiple games at one time and i just have 2k open i better not be lagging okay i better not be lagging or delayed or stuff like that out here on 2k bro there's no way i mean 2k you know hold my beer right but 2k they're the ones that could do it but 2k has to compete i mean you know they're gonna make billions and billions of sales but they've got a lot of competition coming up for the next gen systems we got gta coming we've got halo there's all sorts of games that 2k has to compete with with this new system coming out and those of you that have been playing 2k as long as me or longer or you haven't go look it up man go look up 2k 14 on the xbox 360 versus the xbox one or ps3 versus the xbox four it was insane to me it is still mind-blowing to this day how much the game stepped up graphics wise and stuff with the new system so i don't know guys like i said i'm not holding my breath because it's 2k right it's 2k but these systems the way they're operating the way they look with ld2k liking that tweet and unliking it man i don't know i feel like we're going to be in for a good year not obviously you know 2k is going to have problems every year 2k has issues problems glitches bugs whatever right but i'm talking about graphics and what they can do with the game i feel like they're really going to blow us away with the park aspect or the neighborhood, whatever. So I don't know. Having a neighborhood and a park makes us win. You know, everyone wins, right? 2K, they get their, their ads everywhere, right? They get their stores. And then with the three parks, they can put even more ads. So every single person wins. Everyone. No one is losing in this situation. Maybe someone who just wants a neighborhood. I don't know. But I don't know anyone like that, okay? We all want multiple parks. And if you want to give us a neighborhood too, like 2K18, where we had a neighborhood and it separated from the park, but you want to give us two more parks or whatever, five parks, I don't know, then go ahead and do it, 2K. Go ahead. Spam ads everywhere. I don't care. Just give us multiple parks, right? Guys, drop a like if you agree with what I'm saying. Anyway, I could sit here for 35 minutes straight and talk about 2K21 and what I want it to be like and, you know, all my hopes for it and stuff. But 2K tweeted out on their Twitter, screenshot your release and comment what you got. It's an excellent release from Trey Young. And LD replies with Ronnie2K's release. It's a very late from Trey Young. Oh my gosh. Isn't it great that even LD2K ranks on Ronnie? It's great. He's always clowning him on Twitter, but I don't know. Let me know how you guys feel in the comment section down below what you think 2K21 is going to be like. Do you want multiple parks 
or do you want one neighborhood? I don't know. It's your boy Badge Plug. You have been plugged in. Hit that like button if you haven't yet. Hit that subscribe button if you're new. And I'm out. Peace.